Elon Musk, the forward-thinking leader of SpaceX, has sparked excitement in the space exploration community with a series of tweets outlining ambitious plans for the company's colossal Starship rocket. His messages hint at groundbreaking possibilities. Starship potentially surpassing NASA's human spaceflight record by reaching the moon within five years, facilitating the launch of a private space station, and even attracting the interest of the Pentagon for sensitive missions. Musk's bold claim that Starship could reach the moon in under five years challenges NASA's current record set by the Apollo 10 mission. Starship's unique feature of full reusability could drastically cut costs and speed up lunar missions. In another tweet, Musk hinted at Starship's role in deploying Starlab, a private space station developed through collaboration between Voyager Space and Airbus. This collaboration signals a major stride in commercial space travel promising diverse research opportunities beyond Earth. Despite facing setbacks, such as spectacular explosions during test flights, Musk remains optimistic, emphasizing rapid learning and progress. He acknowledges recent achievements, including a successful third test flight and the Super Heavy Booster's triumphant launch and landing. The Pentagon's interest in Starship for national security missions adds another dimension. Starship's capacity and reusability could make it invaluable for discreetly transporting military assets. While Musk's vision for Starship is ambitious, critics caution against unrealistic timelines and safety compromises. They highlight the complexities of space travel and concerns about privatization and potential militarization of space. Nevertheless, Starship's recent successes signal a promising future for space exploration. Musk's unwavering drive for innovation hints at a future where space travel is not just a dream, but a routine reality, propelling humanity into the cosmos. SpaceX is gearing up for the next big step with its third Starship mega rocket, which now stands tall and proud at the Starbase site in South Texas. The colossal vehicle, consisting of the Ship 28 upper stage prototype and the Booster 10 first stage partner, has been carefully positioned on the orbital launch mount. In preparation for Flight 3, the Starship team is diligently conducting a full launch rehearsal. This significant milestone was shared by SpaceX in a recent post, accompanied by striking photos capturing the towering presence of the rocket. Additionally, a short video was released showcasing the precise stacking process executed by the specialized chopstick arms of Starbase's launch tower. Elon Musk, the visionary founder and CEO of SpaceX, anticipates Flight 3 to take place approximately three weeks from now, pending approval of a launch license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. The previous test flights of Starship, conducted in April and November of the preceding year, ended in dramatic explosions. Despite these setbacks, valuable progress was made, particularly during Flight 2. Notably, all 33 Raptor engines of Starship's first stage performed admirably during the November missions, with the booster smoothly separating from the upper stage spacecraft. Designed for full and rapid reusability, both stages of Starship boast stainless steel construction. Standing at a towering height of 400 feet, 122 meters, this mega rocket is slated to revolutionize space travel, enabling missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Additionally, it holds the potential for ultra-fast intercontinental travel here on Earth. NASA has already partnered with SpaceX, selecting Starship as the primary crewed lander for its Artemis program, aimed at lunar exploration. If all proceeds as planned, Starship will touch down near the lunar south pole in September 2026, marking a historic moment in space exploration on the Artemis 3 mission. In this weaker historic journey, concluded as a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule safely landed in the Atlantic Ocean on Friday morning, marking the end of a groundbreaking private expedition to the International Space Station led by Axiom Space. Named AX-3, the Crew Dragon Freedom smoothly descended off the coast of Daytona Beach, Florida, guided by four main parachutes at approximately 8.30 a.m. EST. Within moments, a dedicated SpaceX recovery team swiftly approached the capsule to assist the four-member crew. This mission, lasting three weeks, stands as Axiom Space's lengthiest private flight conducted by SpaceX since its inception in 2022. Thank you for flying SpaceX, radioed SpaceX's mission control to the AX-3 astronauts. It was our honor to journey with SpaceX, 
replied Axe 3 Commander Michael Lopez Alegria, a former NASA astronaut, as the Freedom Capsule floated in the Atlantic. All crew members are in good spirits. Axe 3 embarked on its voyage atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on January 18th, arriving at the International Space Station, ISS, in the early hours of January 20th. The crew comprised four individuals, Commander Michael Lopez Alegria, now Axiom Space's chief astronaut, Pilot Walter Villade, an Italian Air Force Colonel, Mission Specialist Alper Gezeravci, Turkey's first citizen in space, and Mission Specialist Marcus Want, a reserve astronaut with the European Space Agency. Notably, this marked SpaceX's inaugural all-European private mission. During their tenure aboard the ISS, the team conducted over 56 scientific experiments spanning physics and space medicine. They engaged in conversations with numerous dignitaries, students, and even participated in the European Space Conference, including a dialogue with actor Melissa Navia, known for her role as Lieutenant Ortegas in Star Trek Strange New World. The data collected pre-mission, during flight, and post-mission will significantly contribute to our understanding of human physiology both on Earth and in orbit, foster scientific advancements, drive industrial innovations, and facilitate technological progress for humanity," stated Axiom Space in a mission overview. The Freedom Capsule disengaged from the ISS on Wednesday, February 7th at 9.20 a.m. EST, marking the conclusion of Axe-3's residency aboard the orbiting laboratory. Originally scheduled to depart on Saturday, February 3rd, adverse weather conditions in the splashdown zone necessitated a four-day extension. Reflecting on their experience, Lopez Alegria expressed pride in his crewmates during a departure ceremony live-streamed from the ISS on Friday, February 2nd. It's been an incredible, busy, and enjoyable two weeks up here, he remarked. I am immensely proud of my Axe 3 crewmates, who aided their agencies in achieving all scientific objectives, technology demonstrations, and outreach events. Andreas Mogensen, commanding the ISS's current Expedition 70 mission, conveyed his gratitude during the ceremony, stating, It's been a genuine pleasure and honor to have you on board the International Space Station. You all have been exceptional crewmates. Axe 3 marks Lopez Alegria's sixth spaceflight with previous missions including Axe 1, which journeyed to the ISS in April 2022. He holds the distinction of being the only individual to orbit twice aboard the Dragon spacecraft. Axe 2, commanded by former NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson, launched in 2023, while the other three Axe 3 astronauts embarked on their maiden orbital voyage, Villa Day had previously experienced suborbital space travel with Virgin Galactic in June 2023.